Hey there stampers, today I have a fun technique to show you. It's called the cotton ball technique. So I heard one of my demonstrator friends talking about this cotton ball technique, so I googled it, watched some videos, and this is my take on it. So the leaf here, I don't know if you can really tell in the video, it's puffed up, it's kind of, it's puffy looking. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that. It makes a really fun effect on your cards. So I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock here. Um, and I'm using um, Cajun Craze ink and I'm using the big leaf from the For All Things stamp set. So you're going to first stamp your image. Like so. You want to make sure for this technique that you have some space around your image. You don't want it to be going off the edge of your paper. Um, you don't want it to be right at the edge of your paper because um, you need the edge of your paper to stick down. So for the next step, you're going to pull in your paper piercing mat and you're going to pull in a stylus and I just took the one from the Simply Scored tool. So there's a big end and a small end and you're going to start with the small end and what you're going to do is just outline your image. So if you have multiple images on your card, you're going to want to outline the one that you want to make puffy or stick up just a little bit. And it doesn't have to be exact. You just want to kind of go around the edge like so. And once you've outlined the whole thing, you're going to flip it over. So you can see um, my outline image. So then I'm going to flip my stylus over and I'm going to use the big end. And I'm just going to make little circles all inside where that outlined image is. Okay, so um, by doing this, you're kind of stretching the paper a little bit, um, maybe breaking up the fibers just a little bit. And I like to use the big tip for this just because it kind of makes it go a little bit faster. Okay, so you want to be careful that you don't poke right through your cardstock um, because that is a possibility and that would be very sad if you did that. You'd have to start completely over again. Okay, so you're just going to make sure you do the whole image like this. Okay, so I've got the whole image done. <clears throat> so I'm going to put pull this away and my stylus away. And for the next step, um, I found the easiest thing to use is Fast Fuse. Um, it sticks really good. It's really easy to use. You could do this with a glue stick as well. You could do it with snail. Uh, you could also do it, I guess, with Tombow if you wanted to, but I find Fast Fuse is just really simple to use. So I'm going to just cover the entire image with Fast Fuse. You want to cover the whole thing. You want to go over the edges of it. Okay, just like that. Just going to make sure I have it good and covered. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on the other parts of my... Okay, so this whole part here where I have that image is all covered in fast fuse. <clears throat> so the next thing you need is a cotton ball. Um, you're going to need less cotton than you think you will. In fact, I think I've made, this will be my fifth card and I still have about half of my cotton ball left. That being said, I do have like the jumbo cotton balls, so maybe that's why. But you just want to break off little bits and kind of roll it up sort of into a little ball, kind of. Um, and with the leaf, I found it was easier to work in small bits because there's all the little pieces of the leaf that kind of stick out. So you just want to keep doing that um, until the whole back of your leaf is covered in cotton. So that whole area that you went over with your stylus, you want it to be covered. Like so. Almost done here. And just a little bit more at the bottom, like this. Okay, so you can see that I have cotton stuck all over there. So this is why you need the fast fuse all around it, because it helps your cotton stay in place. 
So I've pulled in a piece of early espresso cardstock and I'm just going to go ahead and stick this right down onto my early espresso cardstock. Squish it down all around like this. And then you're going to need to pull your stylus back in and I again use the small point and you just want to go around your image one more time. And by doing this, you're really making sure that it's good and stuck around your image so that your cotton isn't going to migrate out of your card. And what you're left with, I just like to go around a few times, what you're left with is a portion of your card that is raised and it's kind of puffy to the touch, but the cotton behind it will support it so it's not going to compress down and become flat again like if there was no cotton behind it. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna hold it up in the hopes that you can kind of see how it's raised here. It's really hard to tell in the, in the video. You're really just gonna have to try it because it's super, super cool. So there you go, that's called the cotton ball technique or the puffy card technique. I'll bring back my finished card one more time so you can see. Um, I did do some stamping here with the uh, Gorgeous Grunge stamp set and Crumb Cake ink, just some splatters. I did the Grateful For You, which is also from the For All Things. I did add in some um, pieces of burlap ribbon and I just cut the end off and I pulled the long pieces out cut the stitching off one side and pulled the long pieces out and so I get kind of this wavy linen thread sort of look and the whole card is on a Cajun Craze card base. So you're definitely going to want to check my blog because I do have three other cards made using this technique for you to see. Um, if you like what you see and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're Canadian, I would love to help you out. Please contact me and I can send you a catalog right away. Thanks for watching!